please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Mm. The PC jewelers have been down 18%. Now we have the promise of a buyback, but even that hasn't supported the stock. Yeah, and, and you know, uh, your heart goes out to uh, retail investors who would have bought uh, Surabhi, and a lot of uh, you know retail investors would have bought uh, at 300. Uh, uh, you know, because thinking that, uh, that it, it was a temporary issue, mm -hmm. so we've been warning about it. Uh, that you know, stocks don't fall 40% intraday unless you know the market is sensing that something is wrong. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, all kind of management clarifications are not helping. This morning also we made the point that uh, you know, if, if the Vakrangi also announced buyback, but uh, you know, it really didn't matter. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, now you know, PC Jewel are down about 18%. In three months now, it's down 75%. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so obviously, you know. This, uh, you know, the market knows something which we don't know at this point in time. Perhaps some disclosures at some point uh, comes or something, but, uh, you know, just uh, the weights of uh, destroyed value. And, you know, this is one reason that uh, I do believe that we, you know, the, the recent SEBI move uh, on, uh, you know, moving to cash settlement and on reducing number of stocks in f &O is actually a good move. Uh, uh, you know, uh, you, you should have, I think, uh, the 50 nifty companies and perhaps uh, 60, 70 other good, uh, you know, liquid stocks uh, in the F&O because otherwise there, there is temptation, you know, when stocks fall to buy and sometimes when you buy like stocks like these uh, and that to naked positions, you know, the, the weight of uh, selling after that uh, just leads to this kind of decline. So, yeah, I mean, you have uh, sympathy for those who bought in, uh, mm -hmm. but at, at the same point, you know, it's an F&O stock. So, uh, you know, uh, there are people who would be shorting as well and making, uh, you know, money uh, hand over fist. So, uh, it works both ways, I guess. But then, you know, it's not a stock specific question, but your thoughts on this whole PC jeweler saga and, you know, the, a lot of retail investors have lost money uh, in, in this one. Uh, uh, any, any lessons that come out of here? Absolutely, Anuj. I mean, uh, let, you know, we, uh, when you look at the economic history of the Indian stock market, right from 1992, every bull market coincides with a fraud, right? So before that, let me say, I'm not sure, and I'm not saying that PC Jewelers and Vakarangi is a fraud. I'm not saying that. That's for the government and the uh, auditors to decide. But I'm just pr pr presenting a scenario before you. So 1992, there were too many frauds in India. You don't have to count them. 1994, 95, there was this MS Shoes. I don't know whether you recall that or not. So in 2000, there was again this Himachal Futuristics, the global telesystem, then the DSQ software. So again in 2008, you had the great Satyam Saga, and you had all these real estate companies and all the Unitex that lost 99% and still, you know, that, that's how it went. So every time there's a huge bull market top, you find something to talk about and something to feel suspicious about. I'm not saying it's a fraud. I'm saying the suspicion starts. So the moment the Vakrangi thing hit the market, it was clear that this 11,400, 11,300, whatever the top was, I don't remember these nifty numbers, would be there for a while. And the, being the last year before an election, I think it's tough for the markets to go up. So again, the texture of the market has changed after that. You know, most of the people at that time uh, were betting on hype and hope. So you buy a company, you expect it to turn around. But turnarounds seldom turn around. So coming back to the entire situation, the texture of the market has changed because right from every Tom, Dick, Harry and every stock going up, it's again gone back to earnings driven market. So over the last three, four months, the texture of the market changing, two companies, one is Vakarangi, the other is PC Jewelers. Obviously PC is doing uh, well on the earnings front. I don't know why the stock keeps going up and down. Tells you that the overall market scenario has been broken the bullish scenario so this doesn't mean you can't make money i'm more than 100 percent invested this means you can make money but these things when they come and re retail investors they shouldn't be buying it so so you buy pc at 150 again it is going to go to a 200 or 250 but ultimately you're going to lose your shirt and then finally your pants so i think you should just stay away from these things just look at quality if you don't under understand anything go and buy the large private banks but that's not what people do people want to double their money here and still be satisfied with the eight percent every year in a bank fd but that's why uh, most people lose mm. and very few me people make money in the markets. Okay, 